Update Wimta if I grounded my daughter for forging my signature, I've spent the last day reading so many comments. I was blown away by the sheer number of responses, and I tried my best to read each one and to respond to as many as possible. Most of the comments said that Iwa if I didn't at least remind her, and then blow up at her in a gotcha moment. I completely agreed with that. So I sent her a text as a reminder before school, and followed up with two more face-to-face -face reminders after school. Before I get to the update, I wanted to add that I did a lot of self-reflection as a person and a father based on the comments that I read. Some really stuck out to me as they talked about ADHD, discipline, and parenting. I've saved a few to help me keep reflecting and growing as a person. Additionally, I set up an appointment with my daughter's doctor to see if we should be considering an ADHD test. Now for the update. After the third time politely reminding her to see the form yesterday, I asked her if she had signed my name on it already. She said she did. She signed it shortly after I asked her to bring it home for me to sign. One of the great perspectives I got from the comments was that forging a parent's signature for something this inconsequential isn't really a big deal. Some people disagreed and said forgery is forgery, and that was the perspective I had at the time I made the first post. Not anymore though. She had let me know about the trip and I was okay with her going. Because of my reconsidered perspective I didn't get mad when she told me. I did what many advised me to do and I sat down with her. And we talked. We discussed that forgery is a crime, but because she had let me know about the trip and I was okay with her going that I was okay with what she did. We are not perfect, but we do try our best. My hope is that moving forward with our relationship, I'll try to guide her instead of getting mad. When we spoke last night, I made sure that I spoke calmly and not down to her. I said in a previous comment that I do think she's a good kid. She's got a lot on her plate right now, and I'm no longer interested in adding to that. I really want to thank the vast majority who offered their stories and considerations. One person questioned why I would even make this post, but I'm really glad I did.